there this is ananya and in today's lecture i am back with another pattern design in python in the last lecture we finished with the fish pattern and in this lecture we'll be understanding how to make an entire word using the star pattern in python plus i have an i illusion program to make with you all so please stick with me till the end and let's see what we can make So first let us just quickly have a look at how to make the word mom. So what are we going to achieve by doing this is we will be able to print this entire word mom. It's pretty simple. It's just like the last video that we did. You go row wise, okay? And for each row you check the corresponding column that you want to print the star in and accordingly you give give the if and else or condition and you print it it's as simple as that i'm just going to give a quick recap of just one statement i'm sure you'll be able to do the others for example if row is 0 and the column numbers lie within this tuple okay if the numbers belong to this tuple only then print the star okay otherwise go to the else statement and print a space and next after you are done with the inner for loop then give a new line okay this is for the new line it's as simple as that i'll be providing a link down below in case you want to have a look at my previous pattern that we had printed it was a fish pretty fish design just have a quick look at it if you want to so this is a word mom now let us come to the interesting part I am not writing the code in front of you all today because I'm just planning on saving on time so that you all can just have a quick look at it okay rather than sitting and writing the entire code again let me just show you all what is happening so that it becomes quite interesting now if you are on a PC just move as far behind as you can then you can see the magic of what's there because if you're really close to it you won't be able to understand what's there so please just quickly go behind and see if you do then you can clearly see the word mom written inside the heart and if you are on a you know a phone or a tablet just tilt the screen okay make it horizontal to your face like completely perpendicular to your face okay then you can clearly see the mom written on inside the heart it's pretty much like an illusion we'll be making so again same formula same logic go row wise and put it inside your nested for loop and keep printing see the first row okay the first row zero and if your if my column numbers lie between these ranges print the star otherwise don't now you might have noticed i'm also using the not in operator sometimes here why because whenever there are a lot of stars to be printed and and less number of spaces what i simply do is omit the spaces okay so if not in these numbers then print a star your range of numbers becomes smaller we only have to aim to make the code shorter right so this is pretty much printing up to the 11th row let me just quickly run it again this first nested for loop that you can see this entire part it basically does the work up to the 11th row that is till this line okay till this line now after that you can observe that there is a consistently decreasing value of columns okay it it's like an upside down triangle so there has to be some other shorter way to do it right so here it is i hope you all can see it there you go you i'm taking the value any variable as 3 why 3 because i want my first space to be of th consisting of three numbers okay 1 2 3 spaces for the first row that is why variable j is provided the value 3 now i keep going inside iterating inside the for loop saying starting from 20 okay why 20 
because I want to print 20 stars first and then gradually keep decreasing it by the count of 2. Okay, so keep doing this with a step count of minus 2 till you reach 2 stars. Okay, why 2? Because I'm, I've given a stop count of 0. That is why you can see 2 stars at the end. And as I said, keep multiplying the space, a spaced string with the variable j and concatenate you that with the star with the number of times you want to print the star. So basically you have space into 3 plus star into 20. As simple as that and since we want to keep incrementing the space you do the incrementing operator for j. That's it. That's the code and that does all the magic that is required. Okay, it's as simple as that. I'm going to run it one more time to show it to you all how pretty it looks. Remember, if you're on a PC, go as far as possible. You will you'll see a crystal clear mom written and if you're on a phone, just make it, hold it perpendicular to your face. Okay, that's it. I think this was pretty exciting and fun and I wanted to share this with y'all. Uh, y'all can create many more designs like this and have fun. It basically builds your logic on using for loops and uh, operators and conditional statements. So y'all can your values can change okay because I have done a specific sized image. Your image might be of a different size so your values will change. Okay, so I hope you all had fun. I'll see you all next time with another interesting lecture or maybe some project. Bye-bye. See you soon.